Hi everyone. G'day guys. You're about to watch our year in review. It's been such a big year. It's been an amazing year, yeah. hasn't it? There's been all sorts of ups and downs and challenges and changes and it's been an overall really positive year. We've accomplished yes. quite a lot. Yeah. We've grown our pack by quite a few. So many. So thank you very much. We just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone. We couldn't have done it without you. And really hope you enjoy the video. Thanks everyone. And I'm pretty excited about it, to be honest. 31 puppies on site that are all under seven weeks old. In disbelief for a lot of us. <laughs> Going to cancel daycare as we know it. Mixture of emotions this morning, picking up all the dogs. I've just had to pull over before. Getting really emotional and I uh, couldn't really see. New chapter. G'day guys, so it's our first official therapy day today. Put faith out of her suffering. Also got a little kitten on board. So we got a couple of collars for the dogs up here on the farm. Uh, we got some for the puppies, obviously, to help tell them all apart. So this uh, litter in particular, uh, speaking about all of them, they're very affectionate. So can you get some special cuddles too? It's all right. They're very loving. Oh, oh, hello, mate. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. This is it, guys. This is it. Bye, Miss Pink. Oh my goodness. I don't want to cry. Weedy pie, we'll miss you, darling. I know, I know. Oh, it breaks my heart. All the Dane pups have been adopted and all the dogs look real happy. Lick in their face and it uh -oh. looks really, really cool. We're really, we're really uh, happy about the you know, the way that this has all turned out. This has been their first full puppy program. And we've got two more litters here now. Are you hungry? Are you hungry, you little sweeties? <laughs> oh, we got two of them in there.
We're just giving the uh, Staffy puppies a bath today, so their first bath. Uh, they're a little bit small, so we're just going to go to a bucket instead of the hydro bath. Hey, darling. That was a bit naughty what you were doing, darling, hey? Wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Why do you do it, huh? What's happened? Um, the way she was going at Cutie Pie and those other dogs while I was throwing the ball was a proper savage mauling with no noise at all. This is a case that's pretty severe um, and, you know, I don't really want to sugarcoat it. There's not many scenarios where she, she would have a successful rehoming with that kind of behaviour. Looks like Shadow's had a crack at her. Oh, some little bite marks on her head. So she's the one that um, we think might have a neurological problem, yeah. possibly partially possibly blind. blind as well. Hello. I don't think she can be with the others, babe. I think she's going to have to come in with us. Did you hear that? <laughs> you want to come inside? You want to come inside? Can you sleep with the girls. G'day guys. So we've got a bit of an uh, update for you. Some sad news for um, one of the little puppies. Yesterday we noticed that Miss Red was a little bit um, uh, lethargic in the morning and uh, you know tail between her legs didn't really look right so we quickly raced her up to emergency she's been in overnight on a drip and been monitored and um, turns out that she's got an autoimmune uh, disorder um, which isn't really that surprising given the fact that Shadow started off with a litter of nine two puppies didn't make it and then you've got Miss Violet who's got a congenital uh, neurological disorder uh, and now we discover that Miss Red has an autoimmune disorder. Um, it's a little bit sad to, to hear this news but at the same time it's good that we know about it now because we can pass this information on to whoever her future owner is uh, because there's a good chance that there will be some complications later on in life for her. So, Miss Pink is leaving us. Can I have a counter before you go? Oh, hello. Hello, darling. So beautiful. Mr. Orange is enjoying the, the pool. He's coming back. Oh, good boy. Oh, boy. Sad. Hey. I'm getting real sad. Otherwise, they're getting desexed and off to their new homes. See you, mate. Oh, see you. That's what I fell in love with him about. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, look at him. Mr. He soaks Blue. it up, doesn't he? He could just, just take a cuddle all oh, day. Yeah. He does cuddles like this, <laughs> and he does cuddles. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks a bit like a wolf. We're taking it quite hard because, you know, we pride ourselves on, on the care for these animals and, you know, previously we're working with adult dogs that live in our house, live in our lounge room and rescue dogs that sit in pounds for, you know, 18 months, two years, nobody wants them. And so this has never really been something for us to consider that someone would come in and steal a dog. I got a phone call from Sam saying that Adam's rushing one of the puppies up to the vet. Uh, it's convulsing and foaming at the mouth. And they've rushed the puppy in, uh, put him on a drip, and 
gave him some uh, anti-seizure medication. It's very alarming. There we go, just driving out the driveway with uh, Mr. Yellow. Uh, we're, we're pretty concerned about the poor guy. We're hopeful that we're gonna be able to get a diagnosis and a plan for either management or treatment. So we have another litter of puppies. Oh no, little guys, you look just like the other ones here. They are cattle dog cross English pointer. The story with these guys is that Dee found an ad on Gumtree that these puppies were going for fifty dollars or near us offer, and you know alarm bells have rang. I suppose it's a good time to sort of bring up the fact that we are only dealing with one shelter on the central coast. Uh, of New South Wales, and we now have uh, 31 puppies on site that are all under seven weeks old. You know, it's been backyard breeders. It's it's a really big issue here, and we can really see now that it's a significant problem. Some big news for this guy. So this is hey. Mr. Black. This is Mr. Black. Oh yes, oh yes, hello. Of the Aussie Shepherd Cross. Of the Aussie Shepherd. Litter. Yeah. And today. He's meeting his big brother and big sister. Who happened to be at the farm today? Oh yes, yeah. oh yes, oh yeah, hello. Hello, is this your big brother? You gonna look after him, mate? Oh yeah, Mr. Black, what do you think, you buddy? You have an awesome life, mate. Yeah, audio, mate. Super happy for him. Yeah. We're saying goodbye to the puppies, guys. Hello, Mr. Red. Hello, Mr. Red. So this is what the puppy program does. He's able to hang out with a range of different dogs. He understands some social cues. He understands how to communicate, how to be respectful. He's the sweetest thing. Sometimes I wonder how they're breathing. Like, look at this guy wedged in today. <laughs> First of all, we've got two new litters of puppies that turned up yesterday. We've got these guys here who are absolutely gorgeous. They are American Staffies. And, you know, they were rescued from a case of neglect, unfortunately. You know, guys, I've got the Staffy cross Kelpie litter here. This is Mr. Blue. So we've got Miss Green here. Hello, Miss Yellow. Hello, mate. So Mr. Orange is a, a good mix between the Two different breeds. He's definitely got the, the size and weight of the snappy. <laughs> he still likes to have a good cattle, but has a good solid run around at the same time. So of all the puppy litters that we've had so far, these guys are definitely at the more energetic end of the scale. All right, I love puppy smell. <laughs> I think you're addicted so to it. <laughs> Oh, my God.
be such an idiot. Some pretty exciting news. We got a meet and greet organised for tomorrow morning for Mr. Black, one of the American Staffy puppies. He is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Oh, you're gonna go meet some people that <laughs> might want to love you forever. Oh, because I do. Oh, hello, Mr. Moon. Hello, come on, buddy. Slightly used to it, but it is hard, it isn't is it? Yeah. We do put a lot of into yeah, it. But... but he needs his own home. Yeah. And he needs someone to love him like that. Yeah, you know? we need love boys like you. Yeah. How are you feeling, Uncle Luke? Yeah, mixed. <laughs> Excited for him. Yeah. Sad to see him go. It'd be a bit of a void in the pack dynamic, right not yeah. They're beautiful, aren't they? What do you think, Mr. Blue? Do you have any names picked out yet? Well, we're going to stick with Blue. Oh, good one. Yeah. yeah. We've had it for a while. He's American Staffy. American Staffy. Yeah. He's going to be ginormous. <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Good on you, Luna. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> yeah. is Hello, Knuckles. So, Jace is here with Miss Green, who we found out is called Miss Waffles. Oh, sorry, Waffles. Waffles. Not Miss. <laughs> yeah, Waffles. Uh, my daughters have uh, nicknamed her Waffles. Uh, awesome. It's kind of stuck. I don't know how they come up with that, but. It looks like a bit of a waffle on the head, haven't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of falling for a little bit this oh, time, don't I? Yeah, how could you not? She gets a bit of extra special treatment. Uh, yes, how does poor, Jimmy feel Jimmy, about it? Poor Jimmy knows it. We're going to announce some good news for Shadow. That she's been adopted. And who's adopted her? Ah. We have, yeah. She's home. What do you think about that, Shadow? Oh yeah, I think she's happy. We're adopting Barney as well. And it's just a, an, in conversation with um, Boxer Rescue Network Australia, they were really, um, really happy that we decided to adopt him because they were very concerned about finding someone for him. So Luna's getting adopted today. <coughs> Well, I think this is Luna's new mum at the gate now. Travel dogs take two. Hi, buddy. Are you a troublemaker? Are hey, you a troublemaker, mate? Huh? You got it. What you doing? Go get. Nope. Nope. A bit nervous about putting my hand up here. That's uh, Molly. That's the puppy's mum. Hello, Roscoe. What's going on, mate? You're a bit nervous, but it's all right. We're going to be friends. Hello. Hi. Good boy. Good boy. 
Very important, this very first interaction is where I'm gonna to try to win the mental battle. And hopefully, it's all downhill from there, but it's not coming out. Okay, mate, come on. gone out and got my heavy vehicle license and I'll start driving I'll start driving as of uh, Wednesday next week the 27th and I'm pretty excited about it to be honest uh, it's been a couple of years since I've been driving down and and doing this run so I'm excited to see all uh, our doggy parents again G'day guys G'day guys Good morning everyone Good morning guys Wednesday morning. Today it's Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday morning. Let's go hit the road and pick up some of those happy dogs that are going to be coming up to the farm today. Let's go pick up some doggies and have a good day. Let's get on the road and go get them. Okay yeah, guys, so we've just arrived. We've already got a couple of doggies there. Hey buddy. Hi mate. Hello mate. Hi mate. Come on mate, up you get me. Good boy. I just wanted to share something with you that I get reported to me all the time and it's around the dogs knowing that it's the day that they come up to the farm. Minnie Ariel, Princess at Lola's mum said that they don't even say my name, they don't mention the farm, nothing. But the dogs all run around like lunatics in the morning they know that they're going to the farm today. And I get that report all the time. Uh, all the dogs have got it locked into their body clock that it's farm day and, you know, they get super excited because they've uh, got those butterflies like, yes, we're going to go to the farm and have a great day. I always get a bit of a kick out of hearing those stories knowing that the dogs are really excited to come up uh, because I'm really excited to see them as well. So it's awesome. That's my lunch. That's my breakfast. She went into my breakfast. <laughs> oh, that was great, huh? Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can see my fence. Ready to get out, guys? <laughs> One thing I did uh, here on multiple occasions today throughout different pickup points. You know, the owners just say they lose their mind when they see the bus now because they, they know they're about to see me. So that's pretty cool. It's a cool feeling. I love, uh, I love getting that reaction from the dogs and seeing that intense excitement and happiness. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Definitely makes, uh, brings a smile to my face and 
makes for a good day. So hopefully you guys are having a good day. Speak to you soon. Good dogs. Come good friends these two. Isn't that right, mate? They're really good mates, aren't they, these two? We are going to cancel daycare as we know it. We're going to use that time to focus on uh, rescue and re rehabilitation of the dogs that require that attention. Um, for example, the four dogs up the back, Roscoe, Chance, Navaya, and Molly, who were in the system where they were being forgotten about, passed around, no one, had the time, energy or skill set to try and fix and rehabilitate these dogs. When we started this business originally, we were chasing um, a lifestyle with me working with dogs because it was therapeutic to me and I wanted to give to these dogs as much as I could. And then now we're at the point where we only discovered, you know, the gravity of this issue in Australia with rescue dogs and dogs in need and um, backyard breeders and overpopulation of abandoned dogs. Um, we can't turn our back on it. Now that we've seen it, we can't just go back to, our, you know, we just couldn't do it. We have come to the decision that all of our dogs that come up to daycare are very well loved and cared for and have amazing homes. And, you know, we just thought that we wanted to put our time and energy into the dogs that have no one putting time and energy into them. We are still going to travel down to Sydney, pick up a busload of dogs once a week on, uh, on Wednesdays. Our focus now is to use a smaller group of dogs that are very well trained, well behaved, um, but then at the same time, we want a whole heap of different characters and characteristics as we wanted a very broad range of different dogs to help us rehabilitate these guys but the focus being that we're now really putting our time and energy into the rehab and helping these dogs that nobody else is helping. Mixture of emotions this morning picking up all the dogs seeing all the clients um, a lot of clients are very sad about the news um, others are uh, everyone's pretty happy and excited for you know what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve and um, but it is it is mixed you know uh, I'm also torn between sad uh, you know guilt and then excitement at the same time I think it's uh, definitely the right thing for the doggies. It's, uh, it's exciting, but it's also a little bit scary. Um, yeah. New chapter. Well, this morning's been a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I know I've got one more one more Wednesday to see some of these guys, but uh, yeah, it's just a emotionally a really difficult thing to to do to say goodbye to some of these dogs. Um, I just had to pull over before because I was getting really emotional and uh, couldn't really see. Out of all of this, you know, it's, we made this decision for, for a whole heap of reasons, which I think will be very positive for, for a lot of dogs, but uh, the hardest part would be, you know, if any of the dogs that, our current daycare dogs that we're saying goodbye to, um, you know, I'd hate for, them to feel like we've abandoned them or given up on them.
<clears throat> and so just the thought of that really tears me up. I do hope it's not goodbye forever. It's difficult. You, know, you build a relationship with these dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot harder than I thought. G'day guys. <laughs> no, I'm talking buddy. <laughs> No, no, I'm talking. <laughs> G'day guys, so it's our first official therapy day today. We're going to do some socialisation, we're going to do some training to rescue dogs around these guys, uh, desensitise them a little bit, uh, bring them along in their journey. Uh, it's pretty exciting, a long time planning. Uh, I've been working on these guys every day, they've, been, they've come a long way since you've seen them. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, so I'm going to ask a bit of them today, which would be good. <laughs> So performance like she's doing really well. Got Roscoe out here and he's doing really well in his performance in his training, so he's performing really highly. I've got his muzzle on as a precaution. I'm expecting him to want to get excited and play with the other dogs. He's a very happy, playful dog. This is all very exciting and stimulating for him, so I want him to also build some relationships with these guys. So uh, I'm excited to let him off and, uh, and see how he goes. You ready, mate? Oh boy, buddy. You know, she's probably never seen a group of dogs like this before where there is no tension. This one, this one's a beef one. Hello. Hello. So we're on a little bit of an open uh, free walk here in the big paddock. Roscoe, off lead, no muzzle, running around with us. And he's doing very, very well. I am seeing a bit of a change in uh, their attitude. They're, I think they're a little bit more excited. They're a little bit more enthusiastic to, to get involved with the other dogs. The other thing is, the other dogs are actually engaging in them a little bit more. So they're actually giving these guys a little bit more leeway now without the muzzle on. As you can see, dogs are coming up saying hello. Good boy, Remy. Good girl, darling, that was nice. Good girl. That was a nice kiss for Remy. Yeah. Um, so we're making progress where the dogs are kicking goals. So I'm pretty proud of them. It's good. Yeah, we're it's getting awesome. there. This is a story about how, you know, caring and um, how gentle-hearted Roscoe is. So, we were in the pool area and Molly was wandering around while we were getting the bath set up and she fell in the pool. 
Um, and you can see straight away she started splashing and, and I quickly looked over and went, Molly! And uh, Roscoe was over in the corner, turned around and with not even blinking an eyelid in a flash of a heartbeat, just ran straight off the dock and straight into the pool after her. And I oh, straight away was like, oh, look at this guy, he's going in to save his mate. And he was really concerned about her. Um, and it's, you know, really big tribute to him because Molly's still a little bit um, uh, rough with him. So she still has a bit of a go at him when I take Chance and obey her out past the window and we go for a quad run. Uh, she still can't help herself and has a few little gnaws on his leg. And he takes it like an absolute champion. And um, it was just really nice to see that even though she can be a bit of a tough roommate for him, uh, he was still really caring and, and just threw himself in there. Didn't even think about any danger to himself and just went straight in and said, like, you're right, mate, and went to help her out. So it was a really cool moment to see and uh, just, you know, tells you how good of a uh, and loyal of a dog Roscoe is. Hey guys, I got Molly out. She's excited to be out. We're gonna go and mingle with the dogs. So she did really, really well the other day with the therapy pack. And so it's time just to hang out for a little while with our pack and a few holiday dogs. She's very close to being uh, off lead and uh, roaming around. But there's just a couple of little moments where I want her to not do something wrong, but for me to, um, you know, push it a little bit where I want her to either show that uh, what she was before where she's showing that sign of wanting to run back to her room um, and then her not do it and come back to me and then that's when she'll be tip top ready to go. Just saw she walked away uh, and then turned around and just came over. Good girl, what a good girl. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Thumbs up Molly. Well done. Proud of you darling. This girl, she wants his cuddles, huh? Yeah, you can see she's very enthusiastic about her cuddles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're very happy to announce that someone very special has come forward for Molly. Someone who has watched Molly's journey from the start. One of our members and a long-time friend of Dee. Molly is already enjoying the love and comfort of her own home and family. Her family have said they are already falling in love with her. Congratulations Molly and thank you to Molly's new family for opening their hearts and adopting Molly. She's not very polite no, about it, is she? Not <laughs>
if I go. <laughs> I'm gonna let Nevaeh off to run around with a group. We'll go for a quad run. I am expecting that Nevaeh will be fast here. I've got my eyes on uh, Joey there. You're fast, but you're not used to the endurance, are you? About the fifth lap in, and uh, you can see Nevaeh's really running out of puff. He did go for a little run this morning, but my guy's been out for the whole day, and uh, Joey and the Shepherds are running rings around her as far as endurance is concerned. But Roscoe did really well yesterday when I had them all out at small, in a small group. Roscoe, our three shepherds, Lily, Maggie, were all roaming free. And I had a uh, chance and a halter uh, walking around and they all did really well. But this will be the first time that we're gonna have chance out in the therapy pack with Roscoe uh, and Nevea out together off lead, off muzzle. So we will add a little bit of a different dynamic um, but I'm hoping that the energy of the pack isn't going to uh, revert these two back to uh, their old behaviours. This is the first time in a long time that we've had all the dogs on the property out together. It's been a long time in the making. Jealous, Roscoe, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Look at him. He can't, he can't get close enough. He's got to be the closest. Anyone else gets a little bit closer, he's like, look, look at him. He's fully on me. But I wonder if he's um, ever had so much love. Probably not. You know. I never thought she would be like this. It's Miss Red and Maggie. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I am. I never thought she'd be like this. I thought she'd always be hyper. Good to see that she's relaxing into a calmer routine. Calmer for Sony, you know? Good oh boy, mate. See the way he looks at me? Yeah, he likes a lot of eye contact, doesn't yeah. he? Good boy, mate. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's right. That's my ear. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, guys, so we've got some uh, new news for you. Uh, we've got something that we're pretty excited about. It's a new weekly thing that we're going to do here at the farm. And it is, um, what are we calling it? Is it a shelter day? What it's do we a, say? I guess a shelter dog day out at the farm. Yeah, shelter dog day out at the farm. And it's basically getting um, as many dogs at the Central Coast Animal Care Facility it's actually called the Maitland An A Animal Care Facility. Uh, not sure what the technical <laughs> term is, but we're getting yep. the dogs at the uh, at the pound out to the farm for the day. Uh, but this will be a shelter dog day out uh, every week here at the farm. And 
basically to try to break up the monotony of the dog's routines at the shelter, get them out, get them exercised, get them stimulated. We're also going to use it as a bit of a um, opportunity to showcase these dogs, to get them out there, to hopefully find homes for them. We're pretty excited about it. Hopefully it can be a bit of a success with uh, getting a few adoptions out of it and you know, giving these dogs some stimulation and a fun day out from the pound. It's like a fleet. And then, so if you can get footage in here mm -hmm. while we're getting footage over there, yep. and it's just footage of throwing frisbee in the pool, yep. you know, if you see them start playing, start relaxing, that's what we want to see. We're showcasing their personality to try and get someone out there to go, oh, I like that dog. I might, I might adopt Yeah, that just dog. show just, a different perspective just than fun, just a than photo just, of them in the yeah, kennel, you know. That's right. So you let wear them out, get them excited. Whee! Going over there, mate. Yeah, no dramas, mate. Really, really well, really oh, well. Awesome. Yep. And um, really anyone nice. go for a swim? Yep, the, both the greys went in and then uh, towards the end there. Uh, uh, they all got in actually, yeah. yeah right. Some of them accidental, slipped in. <laughs> but, uh, hey. I think I captured that on the film. Yep. But, uh, yeah, by the end they were all in up to their chest and yeah, uh, having a great time. So. Uh, awesome. Yeah, they're just having Oh, 
Come on, darling. You can do it, buddy. He doesn't want to go. Oh, good. But we did just give him all smooches. Come on. Damn it, buddy. I like these guys back here. Yes. Eh? I, just, I, just, I, just, I, just, I liked it from when we first saw him in town that day. <laughs> hey, I reckon that video can pack well. Same. <laughs> we, make, we just, we don't think about things though, do we? I do like them though. Should we, should we introduce them? To the pack? Yeah. See what they, how they respond. You want to do it? We do it next week. Or are you going to do it right now? Yeah, they are interested in the puggy. Yeah, I reckon. <laughs> it's a running bread roll. <laughs> Chopper. He's also got a brother whose name is Tank. It sounds like it's Tank. Yeah. <laughs> like where we have fish. Good boy. Loves a big bear hug, doesn't he? Good boy, Wolfie. Yeah, good boy, mate. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Yeah, well done. Well done. Oh, good boy. If no one wants him, yeah, but I think he'll get adopted because he's very good for him. He's like trying to jump on your shoulders. There's no room. He says, I'll make room. I'll make room for Monkey Pop Top, huh? Sharpay, pit bull. Sharpay, pit bull. Hello, boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, settle down. Settle down. No need for that. Plenty of love for everyone. Yeah, nice. The day that Faith arrived, the first thing that I noticed was just how shut down and scared and withdrawn she was. Very untrusting, yet very compliant. It was clear signs that she'd been abused. It was a pretty confronting sign to see and to realise just how traumatic her past must have been. I've never seen anything like it. Hope came to us so shut down and withdrawn, it can only have been caused from repeated abuse. I was almost powerless to help them. You know, it really was just a case of giving them a safe place for them to call their own, giving them space, try to build trust and rapport and just allow them to come out of their shell. Aww. That's cool. 
Look how happy they are! Out of the blue, Faith developed a limp. And straight away, the vet just said, yep, bring her in straight away. And sure enough, they were just as concerned as we were. Took some biopsies, sent it away. We had the results back from the biopsies that it was confirmed she had a high-grade cancer. Hello, darling. And you can see the uh, swelling on the arm here compared to this arm. Uh, hopefully it just stays, the swelling stays localised to her leg, but it looks like um, it is the tumour starting to cut off the ability for the blood to circulate properly in that leg. And hopefully in the morning the swelling's gone down a little and, uh, and she's not in any pain. Hello everyone. Uh, we've got some sad, sad news to share. Uh, unfortunately, we've uh, had to make a call and uh, put Faith out of her suffering. Yeah, it's been a, a, an emotional um, challenge. Um, but we do feel but, like she's at peace now. Yeah, she's definitely. And she was definitely ready. She was ready to go. Very excited for Hope and the progress in her journey. She is showing so many good signs as far as making new friends, connecting with other dogs, coming more and more out of her shell every day and relaxing and, and enjoying being a dog. I'm starting to see all those stresses and anxieties and behaviours that we first observed start to wash away and disappear, which is a a really positive sign that she's moving in the right direction. So we're adopting Lily. She's living here now. This is now her home. Hey darling, what do you think? Are you happy about that? Oh, that's a good stick, darling. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, that's a better one. That's a good one, Lily. This is called the gracilis muscle. I'll write it down for you. Uh -huh. And it is a German Shepherd. Right. Um, and it's quite rare. I think I've been you know, in business for four years. I've seen maybe two dogs. Per year. Yeah, okay. No idea what causes it? No. It's obviously a genetic thing, but it's so random and unusual, no one's ever formed them. Uh, and I've never heard of anyone doing genetic testing. I'm yeah. To figure it out. Yeah. But it's a shame for her because it's going to say, um, you know, she's, and it may even get to the stage in two to four years that you're euthanizing because her hind leg function is so terrible. Really? Yeah. So then basically she's going to eventually lose the ability to push off her legs altogether because yeah. they're going to be restricted that much. So this thing here is what's called an infrared laser therapy. Sending a very specific type of infrared light into the soft tissue. Mm -hmm. So the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, and stimulates the cells in those areas to release an endorphin, which has a nice pain relieving effect and will assist in reducing the inflammation around the site. The other thing it'll do is it stim stimulates the cells to produce more energy, so ATP, which is the, the energy that all cells use to, to function. Yeah, there's a bit more of a reaction through that lower lumbar region. Well, most people wouldn't probably be aware, but a few years back you did study hydrotherapy. 
Um, so you have a little bit of an idea, you know, of enough to help Lily um, with what she needs. Yeah, we're trying to engage her muscles. Uh, there's two issues that he's dealing with. The one is the gracilis muscle in the back of the legs, and then the other one is her bridging or self-stabilising of the vertebrae in her back. So with her legs being restricted from that gracilis muscle, we don't want her to overextend her back, which is why we're putting uh, the life jacket on, which is what I was talking about. You know, overexerting herself. I don't want her to push too hard and then overextend her back and cause injuries somewhere else. Because uh, they did. Because they did say that um, that would be. Well, that's what Neil said would be the most. Um, yeah. Uh, any with this condition, any injuries like pulling a muscle, stretching a muscle, you know, beyond what it's normally meant to go, it won't heal normally. So if she injures herself, it's actually going to deteriorate faster. Good, good. Uh, she's very relaxed and calm. <laughs> this way, don't I, Oh, So, we also have another animal in the car. <laughs> come on, babies, come say hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. It's not a dog. No, it's not a dog. <laughs> oh, are you trying to put yourself in my hand? It was very spur of the moment. Hello. However, Evie has been talking about this for quite a while and we just couldn't see how it would ever work. <laughs> also got a little kitten on board. <laughs> a tiny little kitten. I don't know, Evie's going to be very excited. Yeah. She's always wanted one and she can't understand why she can't have a cat. Yeah. Anyway, when we'll you the cat? See how this goes. See how it goes, yeah. Show's like the best bed ever. All the puppies love him. Ooh, good dogs. <laughs> good dogs, get in there. I woke up on top of the world. Well, I've been on it until I'm done. Nothing's ever gonna bring me down. This feeling got me flying high as a bird. I may never touch the ground 
It may not be my birthday, but I just want to celebrate. This cute little girl, Miss Violet, high on life, living life to the fullest. Look at her. Look how happy she is. How much hair in the world. Hello, darling. Hi, what a run. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Hi, Miss Red. Hi, darling. I used to blow them all up with a little pump like this. I remember, remember how long that used to take? And I used to get so upset when they busted in the first 10 <laughs> seconds. Because it would take me 25 minutes to blow it up. And I remember, I didn't know the first couple of times, I didn't know which brand had these in it. And I used to blow them up by mouth. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I remember Goodness. the first time I busted and you were like, oh, that didn't work. We need another one. Passing out. First need a break. I remember you getting lightheaded yeah. doing it. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Say hi, Adam. Jason, Jason, this is Future Boss. <laughs> Future Boss. Go ahead, Wolfie. Go ahead. <laughs> Who's that? When it's trained. Yeah. Did you like that donut? You got cinnamon all over your face. <laughs> I'll tell you one time. Oh, what a good boy. Are we ready to go? Yeah! Ready to go, Joey? Yeah. 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 Got a few co pilots this morning. Yeah. Let's do it, yeah.
Nevaeh is actually getting picked up this week. On Thursday. On Thursday. She's yeah, got so two her. days away. Yeah, so she, she's had someone who's been approved to adopt Nevaeh for quite a while now. Yes. And we were waiting on her to have holidays, or she was waiting till she could have holidays because she's driving down from Queensland. To... She is one of our members, yeah. you know. Um, That's very exciting. She's followed her journey the whole way. She lives on a farm. She did have an extensive experience in dogs. dogs. Yeah. yeah well, so. Uh, that's very exciting for Nevaeh. Wonderful. Oh, guess who's here? Guess who's here? Is there a special someone for you? A special someone for you, darling? What do you think, guys? Huh? The food and attention, isn't it? Without actually meaning to give you attention. Mm-hmm. You get lots of it. Huh? Hello, darling. Look at you, you're already having a sleep. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> I think she's pretty happy. Good girl. Okay. Best of luck with your new life. It's exciting, isn't it? Well, Navaya has just left the farm with her new forever mum. And I'm very excited for her. She was very comfortable um, with her new mum and uh, relaxed instantly. Started leaning on her, um, jumped up in the car, went straight to sleep. Just a really good sign that I feel like she knew what it was. She realised, okay, this is this is uh, the situation and just accepted it and and looked like she loved it straight away. She's a very experienced trainer with dogs and horses and Nevaeh is gonna thrive. It's a really, really good match, couldn't be happier. But I am sad that uh, she's gone. But very, very happy for Nevaeh. She's gonna have a wonderful life. We've actually really thought long and hard about um, Hope's situation, haven't we? We really do want what's best for her and we feel like for her to be at a, at a point of being confident and stable enough to leave the pack and leave the farm might be quite some time. Yeah. Anyway, let's just cut to the chase. <laughs> uh, so... We've decided to open our home to Hope Tank and Chopper. Permanent. Permanently. You know, so that this is now their home and their family. Sad and us to think that meet these guys were didn't have a forever home over Christmas. You know, and it is their own home, and, yeah. And so for us we we felt that why not give them the best Christmas present ever <laughs> and let them know that this is now their forever home, which I'm sure they think it already is. Uh, I'm pretty much 100% that yeah. they feel like this is their home. Yeah, um, we'll, we'll, the surprise would come we'll, if, we'll tell if, them the surprise. if they left, you know, when yeah, they, like, they went somewhere else. Uh-huh. So, um, yeah, we'll say this, so, this is your forever home, <laughs> welcome, and they're like, yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I've been thinking that for months. Yeah. <laughs> They didn't want to leave the farm on their trip. Yeah, I don't know if um, everybody remembers, but um, Chopper came, was yeah. that dog yeah. that um, he laid down on the ground and yeah. refused yeah. to. Back in the van. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I guess on reflection, it, it does very much feel like it was meant to be, but decided then that this was his home. Yeah, he's like, I like this place. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Rover was adop- went out as a foster to adopt as a puppy yep. from the rescue last year. He went to a foster home, he attacked their dog seven times. He was actually booked into euthanasia last uh, Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and just by what Dee knows um, of dogs and yep. you know, looking for what whatever there is in aggression, she cancelled the appointment for the euthanasia, yeah. um, hoping that we can work with Rover. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, because he and he's a young dog. Okay. Um, so maybe he hasn't had many chances and yeah. he's and just been unlucky said, like, in certain mm, environments. Like, and he's usually really good with 
her thoughts yep. and she just thinks that it was just too early to call euthanasia. Yep. Absolutely. You've got to give him a, a shot, don't we? Yeah, so we cancelled it straight away. Okay, yeah. fantastic. It is very evident that he's lacking quite severely in social skills and socialisation. Um, but we seem to be able to get him to calm down and, and join in with our pack. When we get him out here, he seems to relax. He seems to, he seems to just let all his guard down and he's able to learn and, and be a part of the pack and be a part of the... I just allow him to be a dog. Go. Um, yeah, not too bad. A bit strange. It's an odd one. He's got a uterus. Yeah. So they're thinking that the next stage would be put a, a camera up into his, um, his bladder and just try and see if there's any abnormalities or holes or anything there. And then from there, after the camera, it would be you know, an operation to fix anything that they found and then at the same time remove his uh, reproductive organ. But I said, what's that mean moving forward long term for him? He says, oh, you definitely have to remove his um, you know, reproductive organ, organ. But it's really just a case of trying to figure out the uh, incontinence and, and work out what's going on there. But, you know, I'm just said to pick him up. He wasn't really uh, going too nuts. He, he didn't really know what to do. He was saying that uh, he's going to go back and consult with a couple other vets and talk about it. Oh, you having a good time? You having a good time, buddy? He, he really does well here. I just feel like no one's ever going to adopt him if he stays in a shelter. I also feel like after this news that some something's trying to tell us that you know we need to just fit in one more i really think you should come here hey d how you going how do you feel about uh Okay with it? Yeah, okay. Well, um, uh, we've obviously made a decision ourselves, but um, yeah, if you're happy with it, then don't worry about coming to pick him up. He's having a great time. You're not going back to the shelter. <laughs> Morning, guys. It's Thursday, and it's Rover's surgery day. Good boy. Good day today, buddy. Going out for surgery. Oh, so here we are, just outside of Sash, and Rover's about to go in to have his surgery. We're also always a bit concerned when dogs go into surgery. There's there's always the um, chance of complications, <clears throat> especially with this one where they don't really know what they're in for. They they basically said that they won't know until. They uh, get him on the operating table and open him up and, and have a look. You ready, mate? I think he's quite happy just staying there, to be honest. You look very comfortable there, buddy. Come on, through. Good boy. Yeah, get it out, buddy, get it out. Good job. Fingers crossed, we'll hear from them very shortly and it'll be all good news. G'day guys, it's Sunday afternoon and we still don't have Rover home from hospital yet. Initially it was just some minor concerns uh, just with post-surgery but it seems like there may be an infection now and as of this morning they reported that he can no longer uh, release his bladder and at this stage it is just hold him in uh, hospital there for 24 hour care and wait and see what the surgeon says when he comes back tomorrow and, and assesses him. We are concerned about him and we hope to have him back soon but we'll wait and see. 
Hey right, guys, I've just arrived and I'm about to go in and see Mr. Rover. Hello, buddy. Hi, mate. Hello, you know mate. Like Hi, now, how you, how you been? Oh, yeah. Hi, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay, Luke. Well, good luck with him. Thank mate. you very much. All the best for Christmas. Yeah, you too. Merry Christmas. Getting on See you in the new year. Hello, mate. He's back. Everyone saying hello. Hey. Everyone saying hello, mate. Good boy. Good boy. Look at the little tail going. <laughs> Settle down. Merry Christmas, Roscoe! Yeah, we can. We can. 
I know, all in one year. I really do feel that that was our biggest and best year. Yes, I, I, I agree. Uh, however, I think that uh, we may have a bigger and better year next year. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Let's aim for the stars. Yeah. But just want to thank everyone for all their support. Thank we couldn't you. have done it without you. And uh, let's look forward to an even bigger 2023. Yeah. Happy New Year, guys. Happy New Year. See you next year.